Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, by all means, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. What on earth is this? Is it a Reverso? Is it a Cartier tank? Is it a Patek Philippe Gondolo? No, it's none of the above. You're looking at the Vacheron Constantin Historique Jalousie, reference 91002, part of a very limited series from 1997, this one in white gold, designed to pay homage to a similar reference from the 1930s. So the watch is easy to wear on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. And by the way, production of these, a few dozen per metal. We're not talking thousands, we're talking dozens per metal. The timepiece, Comfortable, easy to wear. Think of it as a Reverso Grand Tie. It fits like that. So the measurements outright are 40.6 millimeters lug to lug, slim in profile at only 8.5 millimeters thick, and across the case, not inclusive of the crown, a Reverso Grand Tie like 25.5 millimeters. All of white gold, you can see that it's an easy watch to wear because it is relatively compact. It is true to history, bigger than its predecessor, but not big objectively. The watch features a cambered case back that arcs over the wrist. Love the engraved flanks, by the way, part of the art and artistry of this model. A simple, flat alligator leather strap, black large rectangular scale, marginally, very slightly bolstered, with sheer cut sides that show you the layers of construction, the monotone stitch, calfskin on the underside, and a Vacheron Constantin factory white gold Maltese cross style polished buckle that is fitting. You will note the watch, a complete mystery until you slide open the sapphire cabochon switch at six o'clock. Then, and I'm gonna do my best to show this because it's designed to disguise its graces. You can see the pebbly silver grained dial, and it is a silver grained dial, much like what you'll find on a Chagher Le Coult Duomet or something along the lines of Patek Philippe 5524. It is a very granular pebbly dial. All of the indices are in white gold. The Maltese cross in gold at 12 o'clock, blued foy or leaf style hands, and a small inset crosshair style small seconds dial at six o'clock. All of that hidden behind shutters. The Jalousie shutter, for our French fans, was an exceptionally scarce piece. And you will note the case back hand engraved with the Vacheron Constantin Genève Marquis. All of this containing a Vacheron caliber 1017, which is based on, you guessed it, a Reverso caliber, the 822. So manual wind, 45 hour power reserve, with a 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate. The thing has 21 joules because after all, it is based on the 822. And the 822, a sized and shaped caliber for the Grand Tie case, is perfectly sized and shaped for this case. And I know that's an important point of psychic satisfaction to collectors of watches. A great tradition, Vacheron Les Historiques, established in 1993, possibly the first and certainly the greatest vintage tribute series. These watches are memorable, not so much because they perfectly replicate their historical forebears, but because they pay homage without plagiarizing. All of them stand on their own terms as wonderful modern watches and classics in their own right. You can see this one and make it yours on the watch box.